Thank you for joining me for another Enrichment with the Gifted Guy. What we're going to be learning about today is American Sign Language Alphabet. American Sign Language is a form of communication that deaf people use in order to communicate with others and to be communicated with. Um, and so what you do is you form your hands in certain uh, formations or shapes, and what that allows them to do is understand what you're saying. So there is an entire dictionary full of words that American Sign Language has. I'm just going to teach you the basic alphabet and just a few words. Um, and then what I encourage you to do is to uh, explore on your own and learn uh, more sign language. And it could come in handy uh, if you ever run into someone who is deaf. Um, it also can lead to jobs. I have friends who are uh, interpreters for for students that go to school and they, they do sign language so that deaf people can understand what the teacher is saying. So what I have here is a reference guide for the American Sign Language that you can refer to when you're learning the American Sign Language. Uh, just like learning your alphabet when you were really little, it's one of those things that you have to practice. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. And so you can use this through that process of learning uh, to guide you and to help you. And notice a couple things about some of the letters. Like, for instance, the C looks just like a C. You form a C with your hand. Uh, there are other letters that are like that, whether it's the L or the U or the V or the W. They, they kind of look like their letters. And then there are other ones that look nothing like their letters uh, and other ones that require a motion uh, in order to indicate. So... The J, you have to swoop your, your pinky, and the Z, you have to make the Z symbol. Uh, so by learning this alphabet, what you can do is you can spell words that you don't have to learn all the words in the American Sign Language. You can simply spell words out. So for instance, names, there are, there's not American Sign Language um, for names. And so what you have to do is you have to spell out your name. So I'm going to spell out my name when I demonstrate for you what the American Sign Language alphabet looks like. But what I would do with this is I, I would print up a copy of this. You can go online and just do a Google image um, and a billion of these will show up. And so print one out and just have it around. So when you're practicing, uh, you can you have something to refer to to make sure that you're doing it correctly. What I'm going to do now is to demonstrate the American Sign Language alphabet for you as best I can. Keep in mind, I am not an expert or someone who uses American Sign Language on a daily basis. Um, I have taken a couple of classes, uh, so my uh, hand uh, positions may not be exactly perfect. Um, but again, uh, you can use your reference to try to, to determine what that looks like. Um, and, and so I'm going to show you the letters of the alphabet. So an A is just like this where you have your four fingers down and your thumb beside. It's very important that you, you know, where you put your thumb and your different fingers does make a difference. So you have to be careful. So that's A. B is like an oath. You put the four fingers up and you cross the thumb right here, cross your palm. C is really easy. A C is you make a C. A D is you make a D like this. So you take your middle finger and your thumb and you make a circle and then you extend your index finger out and you close these other fingers and that's a D. An E is you put your four fingers down on top of your thumb like that. Keep in mind that looks different than an A. An A is that. An E is that. You're using the same fingers but in a different position. The F is you're taking your thumb and your pointer finger and you're touching them and then you're holding the other three fingers up. That is F. G is kind of like a you're making a a gun with your hand. So you extend, extend your in, your pointer finger and your thumb, and then fold in your other three fingers. For an H, you just add the other another um, finger out there. So like that. It's an H. I is you take your fist, put your thumb across, and extend your pinky up. And I always have difficulty extending my pinky up, so I'm going to help a little bit. So that's that's an I. Um, and J is the exact same as the I. The only difference is that you make a loop with your finger. So a J is this. So I, you just hold it there. J, you make a little loop with it. And so uh, that, that's the difference between this two. A K is kind of like a peace sign. And then you stick this finger up here to make like a cross between them. L looks like this. It looks like an L. You don't do it like this. You do it like this. M is you put your thumb between your pinky 
in your ring finger like this. That's what it looks like. And N, you just move it over one between the middle finger and the ring finger. So this is N, uh, M, M, and this is N. O, it's just like it, it would, you would think it would be, which is shaped like an O. A P is you take your pointer finger and you extend it and you put your um, middle finger down with a thumb, kind of like that. So it's not, it's not this, which is the, you know, the, um, uh, the gun one. You are dropping this other finger like that. So it's not a, like a G. It's a, it looks like that. Q looks like this, kind of like you're pinching something. So you just kind of do that. R is you take this, this uh, point your finger and your, and your middle finger and you cross them like that. And then you put your thumb on top like that. And you extend those two fingers. S is just a fist, um, but unlike the A, which is the thumb is beside, that's an A right there. And S is you kind of cross that thumb across two of your, you know, as many of your fingers as you can. So that's an S. T is kind of the same thing, but you just move that finger in through the first, through your uh, index, your pointer finger and your middle finger. So that's T. U is fairly simple, just two fingers up. That kind of looks like a U. For V, you just separate it. For W, you put three fingers up. So those are probably the three easiest letters, at least for me. So it's U, V, W. And then an, an X would be taking your, your pointer finger and you kind of make a claw with it. And then you tuck your thumb in with your other finger. So it looks like that. Y is um, like this. You take your three fingers and put them in. And again, I may need help with my pinky. There we go. So that is a Y. It also means a hang loose if you go to Hawaii. So that's, it comes in handy there too. But for American Sign Language Alphabet, this is a Y. And then a Z is you extend your index finger like this, and you just draw with it a Z. A Z. So you're just making the Z symbol. So the two letters that where you actually form the shape of the letters by drawing them would be the J and the Z. And those aren't real commonly used uh, letters in our uh, English language anyway, but they, they are the only two sign language um, letters that you actually make the shape with, with your, so the J, you know, like this, sorry, the J like this and the Z like that. Um, so what you can do is when you, you, you want to practice this, just like anything. So, um, you know, saying your ABCs, you know, you use that song. You can always do the same thing in A, B, C, D, E. Uh, I'm not going too fast. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. So you can practice that uh, and just practice that over and over just like you would your normal alphabet. And the, the more you do it, the better you will get at it and the more comfortable you will be. And then once you feel comfortable, uh, with forming those letters, you can start to, to make words. So for example, my name is Todd. And so if I want to communicate with a deaf person that my name is Todd, I have to spell out my name. And so I would have to do T, O, and then D, D. That's how I spell my name. Um, if I'm going to spell the word cat, I have to do C, A, and then T. If I were to spell the word dog, I would have to make the D, O, and then the G. The, the G. So you can take any, any word and spell it. So you don't have to actually know the words, although I will show you a couple at the end of this video. Um, but you, know, you, can, you can spell any word that you need to spell using this alphabet. So what I'm going to leave you with are just some, because you can make with your fingers actual words that mean entire words. So you don't have to spell them out all the time. And so I'm just going to demonstrate for you just a few common um, 
words that are can be used in the American Sign Language. Uh, I'm showing you the the visual here that you can um, you know reference. Uh, but these these are the words that I'm going to actually show you. Um, and so I'll, I'll have I'll have these at the end as well. So if I'm trying to say ASL, there is not a sign for ASL. So I have to, have to actually have to spell that out. So I have to go A S L to be able to tell that. Now, when you're doing hello, usually it's just you just wave like that. But in, in sign language, you cross your you put your hand to your head, you cross your thumb there, and you kind of make that motion like that. If you're trying to indicate to someone that you're deaf, you point to your ear and you move it away. Some of them are pretty um, logical in the way they do it. So for instance, love is just crossing your hand like this. If you wanted to say to someone, I love you, you would do it like this. If you're trying to indicate a mother, it looks like this. So you just, you're, but you put it to your chin. For a father, you put it to your forehead. So again, mother, father. Baby is just like you're while you're rocking a baby back and forth. Friend, you take your two index fingers and you cross them in a friendship. That's friend. School is kind of like a clap. You have this hand down here, this hand up here, and you put your hand down. That's school. Yes is just a fist, and then you go. Up, so yes, no is you have this and you squash it. No, you know, I don't know. Uh, please, you put your hand in front of you and you kind of make a loop. So please, thank you. You put your hand to your mouth and you pull it away. And then bathroom, kind of an important one to learn, is um, just like a T, but instead of just holding it there, you go back and forth. So that's a T. If you just do that, I'm sorry, if you just do that, that's a T. If you do that, that's bathroom. So those are just some common words that you might find yourself using, but it, it demonstrates that the American Sign Language is more than just its alphabet. It also forms words with these different, uh, uh, the way that you hold your hand and, and the motions that you do. And the better you get at this, the more that you, you learn the, these words and you're able to not have to spell them, but you can actually just convey them by showing them, um, by demonstrating them with your hands. So what I would encourage you to do as I leave this up here for um, your, your reference here uh, to, to try these is just practice this and try this. I mean, if this is something that you are really interested in doing, uh, you, there are classes at our local library. Uh, you can take American Sign Language. Uh, that's where I learned it. Um, you know, there are online tutorials that you can use. Uh, there's all sorts of, uh, of ways to expand this learning. Um, and it, there are actually schools that teach sign language because, again, this is a this could lead into a job. It could be something that, you know, you're able to make a career out of. So uh, I encourage you to practice this uh, if you're interested in this and um, good luck with it.